What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm gonna do a quick update on Facebook stock. The company's shares have pretty much plunged from 185 a couple weeks ago to $156 as I'm recording this episode. This is on the back of the whole Cambridge Analytics scandal where Facebook leaked the personal data of about 50 million different accounts and this was sold and used for all sorts of different things. So amidst this entire scandal, there's been a huge public backlash against Facebook. I'm sure you guys have seen that Elon Musk deleted his personal account for Facebook and Tesla's corporate account and SpaceX's corporate account. And a ton of people are asking me like, oh, is this gonna kill Facebook? Like what's gonna happen to Facebook next? Is the stock gonna keep crumbling? Well, of course, I have no idea what the stock's gonna do, but as a business, Facebook is as solid as ever, and I don't think this scandal is gonna impact them at all. So I made an episode a couple weeks ago about Facebook called Facebook is a cash flow machine, just to highlight how absurdly profitable the company is. If you take a look at this chart, you'll notice that since 2010, the company has been always profitable. They've grown like a rocket ship, having revenues go from two billion to $41 billion in 2017. You know, they are so profitable, in fact, if you take Take a look at these operating margins. Facebook, um, minus tw the year 2012, when they had a bunch of one-time IPO expenses, has posted incredibly consistent and incredibly high operating margins. And it looks like their margins have actually been expanding. You know, in 2017, they posted 50% operating margins, which means 50 cents of every dollar in revenue is operating profit. If you take a look at their revenue growth, they've been able to grow revenue around 40 to 50% almost every year since their IPO. All of this profitability, of course, has led to massive amounts of cash piling up on the balance sheet. So they have 42 billion in cash and cash equivalents as of the end of 2017, pretty much no debt. So, you know, the company is pumping Pumping out billions in cash, has billions of cash just sitting in its bank account with no debt. Like they're totally in a fine position. And you may be saying like, oh, well, there could be huge regulation that's going to impact Facebook and this could impact their earnings trajectory. Okay. Well, let's talk about that. Facebook produced earnings operating income of about $20 billion in 2017. Today, according to that $156 share price, assuming about 3 billion shares outstanding, we're looking at a market capitalization of about 468 billion. If we divide 468 billion by 20, we get to a price EBIT ratio on trailing earnings of only about 23X. Now, I put it put out these estimates before. I'm sort of assuming that Facebook will be able to do $56 billion in revenue in 2018 and post operating income of 26 billion. Now, really important to note in this projection, I'm assuming Facebook's operating margin drops from 50% in 2017 to 45% in 2018 because of some sort of regulation or some sort of fine or they're them hiring more people to check on their business model. So, you know, I'm assuming that some sort of regulation hits, but because the company's growing so fast, they'll still be able to grow earnings from 20 billion to 26 billion. Um, and if you do, you know, 468 billion today's market cap divided by those potential 26 billion in 2018 earnings, you're looking at a P EBIT ratio of just 18 X. So according to my calculations, Facebook is trading about in the same earnings multiple as the entire stock market, despite the stock market only growing in single digit earnings and Facebook growing its earnings at around 20 to 30%. And you know, I don't think 2018 is the stop, is Facebook's gonna stop growing at all either. And you know, you may be saying, well, like what happens if everybody leaves Facebook? Isn't that a major debacle? Yes, if there is a major mass exodus of Facebook, I don't think we've seen that yet, then their earnings could take a hit in the near term, but even that probably wouldn't kill Facebook. I mean, they have Instagram, which is the hottest it social network of the moment that has crushed, crushed Snapchat, has hundreds of millions of users, is only in the very early stages of monetizing. According to the Statistica data I found, Instagram's revenue is poised to almost double this year to nearly $7 billion, which would make them equivalent to about 12 to 15% of Facebook's overall revenue. I think Instagram is just getting started. You know, they're gonna start to immigrate a bunch of e-commerce features, which I think are gonna be the next level leg of growth beyond just native advertising. So, you know, I, I think there's a ton of growth left in Instagram. I'm incredibly bullish on what that platform is gonna become in the next five to 10 years, and Facebook owns Instagram, so they're gonna get all of that upside. Additionally, the company owns WhatsApp, you know, which internationally has a mega presence. They're not really monetizing it yet, but still that's a very key asset that Facebook also owns. Additionally, beyond that, they own Oculus Rift, you know, the 3D headset uh, virtual reality company, which isn't moving the needle now, but in the long term, they could start to integrate that with their social networks, let's say Instagram, to create virtual spaces where you can hang out with your friends on these platforms. So I think the future is still incredibly bright for Facebook, honestly. I think they're gonna get past this scandal. Um, 
Hopefully they get regulated in some sort of way so that this never happens again and they can actually improve their, you know, handling of user privacy and data. That would be a really good thing. You know, from a moral perspective, I don't know if it makes sense to invest in Facebook or not. I don't own any stock in the company. Um, I'm not planning on investing in them anytime soon. But I do think from a financial perspective, like 18 times earnings for a company that could grow earnings at 20 to 30% for the next five years after that is a really a bargain deal. I And, and that just is what it is. So. Uh, I, I think Facebook looks cheap at this valuation unless you assume that there is some incredible blow to regulation that really hurts earnings permanently in the long run, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. That wraps it up with the update on Facebook. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.